Welcome to Naresh I Technologies. This is Ramchandar. In this video, especially, I am going to talk about rules of method over writing in Java. Rules of method over writing in Java. So, here mainly up to 1.4, we have 5 rules. From 1.5 onwards, we have one more rule that is what here covariant return type that rule. Up to one point, we have 5 rules. From 1.5 onwards, we uh, there is one more rule added to what here method overriding rules concept. So, first let me start with rule number 1. Now, observe here in entire Java, we have 4 access modifiers like uh, private, like default, default. And, uh, most of the uh, people feels like a uh, default is package private, package private. Yes, it is a package private. Now, there is one terminology. We have some terminology related to a default keyword that is given by enterprise documentation, Java W documentation. If you want to observe that uh, terminology private package private one more terminology for default is package private if you want to view this terminology we should go for java we documentation related to at the rate of inject annotation after that one more we have protected and after that we have one more access modifier like public so, here let me show you whether we have this type of terminology in Java W documentation or not. So, let me open one browser. Yes, I am writing like at the rate of inject in Java. So, we are getting observe here inject Java W6 Oracle help center clicking on that. Now, if you observe cleanly a injectable members may have any access modifier, those access modifiers may be what? Private, protected and public. There is no terminology like a default. So, one more terminology for default is what? Package private. This is not, package is different keyword, private is different keyword. But combination of package private, we do not have keyword. That is only terminology. But here private, protected, public sir keywords individually package and private is key, uh, are keywords but combination is not a keyword that is only terminology here my intention is i want to tell you only one thing that is the one more terminology of default is package private so what is the use of this access modifier basically access modifiers are providing permission to access data maybe it is a variable maybe it is a constructor maybe it is a method first we need to take the permission if we, if we do not have any permission, we cannot communicating with the data. So, to providing the permission, we have four access modifiers. So, let me explain. Basically, the permission order always, the permission orders always from increase from left to right. Nothing but, for example, I have one a TV which is available in the room nothing but which is available in the house. How many members can you able to watch it? Five members. So, TV will provides to permission, will provide the permission to how many members at a time? At a time or simultaneously, whatever it may be. Only five members. If the TV is available in the classroom, the TV, if the TV is available in the classroom, then how many members can you able to access here TV nothing but projector. How many members can able to access? 50 members. Now, the same TV is available in same, same TV means what here? Projector, cinema projector. For example, let me take this is what here? Cinema theater. So, how many members at a time can able to watch? 500 members, 500 members. Now, if you observe, sometimes we are observing some uh, Huge projectors, uh, roadside, side of the roads, like uh, don't text while drive. 
So, these type of uh, some uh, information providing purpose, uh, some of the processors are display on the roadside. So, this is what your roadside. So, in this particular time, uh, roadside projectors can able to observing by how many members here? Infinity. We cannot count it, nothing but everybody can access that uh, information. That means, we can simply say like this. So, private wheel providing what here? Less accessibility according to this number. After that, who will providing accessibility? Default. And after that, who will providing accessibility? More accessibility? Protected. And after that, who will providing accessibility? Public. So, from private to public, accessibility will be increases. So, to understand the first rule of method overriding concept, first we must and should be aware about these four access modifiers. The accessibility increases from where to where? Private to public. Now, observe guys here, the rule number one is, here I am not consider, here I am not consider private data. The reason is, private data is not participated in the overriding. Why private data is not participated? Why static? Why final data are not participated in the overriding concept? That we will see in the coming video. So, here this video my intention is only explaining the rules of method overriding. Now, let me start with the rule number 1. The rule number 1 is very simple. Rule number 1 is very simple. Subclass method access modifier is same as is same as superclass method access modifier or are increasable are increasable ok. Subclass method access modifier is same as superclass method access modifier are increasable. So, what is the meaning here? Very simple. Now, there is a superclass, so, one of the superclass method having what here? Default. One method is there like M1 that access modifier is default. And one more method is there that access modifier is what here? One more method is there that method access modifier is protected. One more method is there that method access modifier is what here? Public. Now, let me use your subclass. Subclass method access modifier must and should be same as superclass method access modifier. Nothing but here we can write default or we can write protected or we can write what is this public. So, subclass method access modifier can be write as default and protected and public, but do not decrease, do not write private. Here we can write what here protected, here we can write what here public, same as superclass method and increasable, here we can write what here public here. Now, observe here. If you are writing here like a default and if I am writing like here default comma what is that protected these are what here invalid. So, the first rule of method overriding is very simple. If the superclass method having default in the subclass also we need to write either default or protected or public. If the superclass having the protected access modifier, we need to write, we need to write either protected or public. If the superclass having public access modifier in the subclasses, we need to write what here? Public itself. But if you are trying to write default, if you are trying to write default here, error, protected, error, here default, error. If you are writing privated again, error. So, accessibility we cannot decrease, we need to always increases here default, protected and public increases, protected I am mean increases public, public that is only the highest access modifier we can't uh, uh, increases. So, this is the first rule related to method over writing. So, let me explain programmatically these rules, programmatically means what here skeleton call syntactically. I am checking here one notepad. I am taking one class like a test. In the test class, I have one method public static void main string array s. 
now here i am writing like one method here i am taking one class like a in the class a and also i am taking one one class like b in the class a i am taking one method void m1 method void m1 method if you are not define any access modifier that is the part of what here default method so from java 1.8 onwards we should we sometimes we need to write what here default keyword also on top of the what here method itself now that we will see in the coming videos not right now if you are not writing anything here by default it is comes under what here the default method so here i am writing like as a t's here i am writing like what here as a t's same method in the subclass now what i am writing test dot java and save why am i let me compile and execute the program for printing purpose let me use clarity purpose system dot out dot println valid prog valid program that's enough now let me compile the program java c what is that test dot java successfully compile and java test yes valid program nothing but our syntax is valid whatever the method we are writing that method we are writing in the same class valid only now if you don't know the override rules if you don't know about what here override rules how can we find out whether the following method is overrided method or not there is one annotation that is at the rate of override that is at the rate of override yes so at the rate of annotation itself it is going to check whether the following method like here whether the following method means what here whether the m1 method is following the all the rules of method overriding if any one rule is not following the m1 method simply it will giving what here compile time error observe java c test dot java java test so successfully compile and execute that means the following m1 method is participating what here? following what here all the rules all the rules now i told you like if the super class having the super class having default keyword in the subclass we can write default and we can also write what here public and protected let me work with the protected let me work with the protected protected now here i am writing like java c test dot java and java test yes protected is also valid so let me work with what here public so more clarity purpose let me change some output yes now java c test dot java and java test output is also changed that means we can write default and protected as well as what here public this is the first method overriding rule so there are totally five from 1.5 there is one more extra rule covariant way written types okay totally six among the six rules we did i did talk about only one rule that is what here whenever we trying to develop overriding concept our subclass method must and should be same as super class method access modifier or increasable this is the first overriding rule the remaining overriding rules we will see in the next video i hope you enjoy this video for more videos please subscribe narasethi channel thank you catch you in the next video